These are quick brainstorms in this room. They have all the answers. All of these questions, just so you know, up there online. How do we judge a website? Okay, so we're thinking about what organization made this website. That's a really good question to start with, right? So then we say to ourselves, well, is that organization, what word did we learn today? Reliable. reliable. Is that organization reliable? All right, can I trust what, they, what they're telling me? How do you know if an organization is reliable or not? Okay, so you're looking for a logo. A good organization probably has a logo, right? What else can you do to see if an organization is reliable? Can you Google them? Yeah. So maybe you check what other people are saying about that organization. So you could Google them. Yeah. What else? So what we're looking at, who is, who's putting this out here? Who's the author? Okay, so it could be an organization or it could be an individual. Right, who's saying this stuff? What else? How else can we tell? I heard something Joy was talking about. Can you share, Joy, what you were talking about? <laughs> I don't know if it's playing. <laughs> you, were, you were explaining it well to Natty. Maybe she can explain what you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what Joy was saying? Something yeah. on the top. Like some websites still have a red flag there on top. If it's and not reliable. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. And a green check mark. Okay. So green check mark or uh, red. Red flag. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like a little bit of a warning. Yeah. There's something else you can look for in a website to know if it's coming from a reliable source. Anybody know? You can check the reviews. Okay. So reviews. Yeah. Comments. Uh huh. Comments. You can check the address. Yeah. So different, like say you have .com, .org, dot, .edu, dot, dot .ca, yeah, dot .gc. Does anyone know what any of these dot dot dots mean? You're gonna learn. You're gonna, you're gonna read. I'm not gonna tell you the answer. Okay, so that's an important thing too. And how do we know if what we're reading is true? Google it. <laughs> okay, so if you read it on one site, sometimes if you type it into Google again, it'll tell you what other what other sites are saying. And if it's a hoax, what's a hoax? Something that's not. Something that's not true. Yeah. So if it's a hoax, if it's a trick out there on the internet, sometimes there'll be a site that will say, "Watch out for this story. It's a hoax." Right. What we're going to do now is I'm going to give each group